So let's look at one problem, which is uh, ratio of two independent uh, Cauchy random variables. In other words, x and y are Cauchy and they are independent. And let me look at the ratio z, which is x so x divided by y. What is the density function of z? So we'll start with it's a distribution function. That's probability of z less than or equal to z. But z is x divided by y. Now the problem here is you cannot bring in this y here because y could be positive or negative. So we are we can partition the whole space as the disjoint union of uh, y positive and y negative. Uh, so this is the whole space intersection with what we are interested in. But interestingly, because this is a disjoint mutually exclusive union, we can write this probability as this intersection with y positive plus the same thing intersection with y negative. And so I'm just copying that here. So the distribution function is y less than or equal to. So interesting thing is when y is positive, this y goes up here. When y is negative, this y goes up here, but the inequality gets reversed. So that's what is shown here. When y positive, this is x less than yz. When y is negative, is x greater than yz. <coughs> so in this region where y is positive, and x less than yc is this region. For this integral, y is negative and x is, this is the line x equal to yz. So everything to the right is x greater than yc. So essentially this uh, distribution function is the probability of the joint density function over this area plus that area. So that the joint density function evaluated from x goes from minus infinity to yz and y goes from 0 to infinity here. Whereas here, x goes from yz to infinity and y goes from minus infinity to plus infinity. Now you can uh, quickly take the derivative of this with respect to z and uh, you get the standard formula which is there in Papoulis chapter 6. But now let's bring in this problem. So these are x and y are independent. So this joint density function becomes the product and let me plug in the density function of x and y. I notice that this is an even function so I can write this as 2 over y squared multiplied by this. So this is where our simplification starts. So fcc is going to be <coughs> 2 over pi squared then you have an integral 0 to infinity so that can be done a partial fraction. Let me leave y outside. Then this is 1 plus y squared minus, uh, notice that this will work. 1 plus e squared y squared dy. So you notice that y squared c squared cancels off and you end up with a constant which is 1 minus z squared. So this is 1 minus z squared here. So this is 2 over pi squared. <coughs> 1 minus z squared, then integral 0 to infinity y over 1 plus z squared, y squared. So the way I'm going to do this is, uh, this is also integral 0, uh, in, uh, so this is z squared goes outside, there is a y over 1 plus z squared y squared dy. So let me replace this top limit by some constant a and I later I'll push a to infinity. So I want to later I want to do the limit a going to infinity. But so quickly, okay, so let me call this to be, uh, so this is 2 over pi 1 minus z squared. And this you can see is the, I guess the uh, limit, this is half logarithm of 1 plus y squared, right? And uh, I mean, of course, 0 to a minus. First, you notice that this is, uh, if I change the variable uh, zy equal to u, the top limit becomes 0 to za. And then this becomes, of course, 1 z goes here, 1 z goes here. So du over 1 plus u squared. So notice that uh, this becomes 2 over pi multiplied by 1 minus z squared, half log. Uh, 
And so the bottom limit is easy because you put y equal to 0, this is uh, only the top limit here. Uh, log 1 that is 0 minus this is also same thing again log of 1 plus u squared with a half but the, uh, when you substitute the bottom limit it is 1 log 1 0 but the top limit is now 1 plus c squared a squared so I can simplify 2 2 cancels so I can simplify this as pi 1 minus c squared log of 1 plus a over 1 plus z squared a <coughs> now I have to push a to infinity notice that uh, a squared because both the places y goes to a so this is a squared so when I put a to a to infinity this becomes this is 1 over a squared 1 over a squared I get 1 over z squared as the limit uh, so this is that so minus log uh, z with the 2 here divided by pi multiplied by 1 minus z squared is the correct answer and z goes from minus infinity to plus infinity now of course if you want to check whether the only place for confusion is uh, so z is of course again goes from minus infinity to plus infinity uh, now the only place for confusion is when when z is uh, uh, let's say what happens at c equal to 1. Remember, this becomes log 1. Uh, log 1 is 0. And uh, this becomes... Uh, so you may, we may want to leave this as the answer as in this form, c squared. Okay, so that way, when z, go, c is positive or negative, it's uh, fine. So at 1 or minus 1, this is 0 over 0. But you can look at the L hospital rule and quickly see that the limit is finite because uh, the value of this function at uh, z equal to 1 is minus 2z right? the derivative of each separately so that's uh, 2 over z and uh, right yeah, because the derivative of this is 2 over z with the minus minus goes away so the answer is uh, 2 cancels 1 over z squared and z goes to 1, this goes to 1, the function. So if you plot it, you will get the density function. This is the uh, answer to that uh, ratio of two Cauchy density functions, I think.